Hey Panther fans, my name is Dylan Garcia. I'm a junior runner at Franklin High School and a two times record holder in the 5K and the two mile. Today I'm gonna to be interviewing Chloe Lane. Chloe is my yearbook advisor and used to be my middle school captain in cross country. In, year, in the yearbook room, she's really set me on a right business and production mind path. She's really taught me to get on my timelines and just make sure I make every deadline and make it to be the best I can with my production. In middle school, she really set me on the right path with finding my love for cross country. She's really inspired me to find love for sports and just keeping myself as healthy as I can be. So, Chloe, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good. Just, it's good. a little cold outside today, so. I know, I know. So how have you- Hopefully it starts warming up. <laughs> I know, I really hope so, because it needs to be summer now. <laughs> so how have you been doing with this whole, this whole quarantine, quarantine thing? thing? Um, I've been doing all right. It kind of goes up and down. Mm -hmm. um, I just, I'm trying to be as positive and productive as possible and just try to use this time to my advantage as much as I can instead of just kind of sitting and thinking about all the things I'm missing out on right now. <laughs> right, right. And I think I heard this right. Didn't you have a really huge game right before quarantine started? Yes, we did. Will you explain me a little bit of what happened for a runner mind? Yeah, yeah. So we went to North Buncombe, and um, that was kind of whenever we figured, the day before we figured out that we were going to go on that three-week suspension. Mm -hmm. And obviously our team was a little bit, upset about that because that that was a lot of non-conference games that we were going to miss out on mm -hmm. but um yeah we were playing in the game and it was super evenly matched and our team was just really starting to get in the sync together mm -hmm. and get to know each other more and how each other plays and doing really well and um about five minutes before the game was over it would have just ended because it was non-conference so we wouldn't have gone into overtime or anything but about five minutes before it was over um, Brandy scored. Oh yeah. And it was just, it was fantastic, especially, um, now knowing that we're not going to have any more games to play. It was great to end on that note. Um, couldn't have asked for a better game to end on. That's great. What would you say if that season or the season wasn't canceled? How did you predict the um, season would have gone after such a big win like that? I think that, um, as a team, we definitely, we were already on a roll because we had won our first three games, you know. And I think that we just would have continued to grow and really get to know each other because it was kind of starting from scratch a little bit that we had, you know, a couple players that really knew each other and played well together and had played together before. And so it was just kind of bringing that all together so that we could work as a team all together. And so I definitely think that we would have kept progressing and it was definitely going to be a great season. And I know you had a really great start to your senior season before all quarantine started. I heard a lot of great news about you. So, how did you find out about the quarantine? You said, wasn't it before the game, you said? Yeah, so for the three-week one, um, the three-week suspension, I was actually in Miss Moffitt's room after the spirit rally. and We were just kind of talking and stuff, and um, Taylor had received a text from her brother or something like that saying that our all spring seasons were going to be suspended for three weeks. And we just looked at each other and we were like, is that right? Is that true? And so we went down to see coach Brooks and asked her if it was true. And she was like, yeah, we're not, we're not able to, the coaches aren't able to have any contact with any of the players. And, um, I was really upset. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I was really upset, especially just it being my senior season, but, three weeks I was like okay three weeks we can handle it you know it's just going to be you know we can get together as a team without our coach you know and do things like that and I was like okay that's just preseason or pre-conference you know non-conference games we'll still have most of our conference season whenever we come back it'll be okay um and so I was just trying to stay as optimistic as possible and then as you know school started the suspension or cancellation of school started getting extended and extended. I just kind of came to the realization that our season was probably not going to come back. And our coach was trying to stay as positive as possible and try to give us hope, you know, but I just, I just had a feeling that it just wasn't going to happen. And so whenever I found out that it was canceled, I pretty much had already experienced all those like, upsetting and you know heartbreaking emotions before and so it was just kind of like a finalization and I was just like yeah 
sports was a big upsetting, but you're still a senior and you've got a lot more that you were missing out on. And I know you were the head of the grad walk committee, and then there was also prom, and then there was also just class day. So what are your feelings about that? How do you attack that, and how do you attack grad walk? Um, yeah, for sure. So that's kind of the first thing that came to my mind after sports. So mm -hmm. I was really obviously upset about sports at first. And then with school, I was just kind of like, okay, just a couple weeks to kind of regroup and then we'll come back. And all the fun stuff that seniors get to do will be there whenever right. we come back. Mm -hmm. um, and then as I started talking to Miss Moffitt, because she's obviously, you know, she helps yeah. me with the grad walk and all those things. And um, when I got to talking with her, it just started sounding like it was not going to happen and mm -hmm. it was not as promising. And so um, I guess for the grad walk, I was just upset because I had put in work since September, just kind of right. gradually working on it and chipping away at all that and just putting so much work into something and, you know, going to be proud of it, you know, whenever that time comes. Right. And I was really looking forward to it. And we were just getting to the part where we were planning, you know, the picnic, what we were going to mm -hmm. eat, all those things. And um, it was definitely upsetting for sure. And um, with class day and prom and all those things, I I was very upset with those as well. Right. Just because those are, you know, the most exhilarating parts of high school, I think, mm -hmm. especially being a senior yeah. and just missing out on those and seeing that all these other senior classes that have gone before us have right. gotten the opportunity to do those things. And I've never really been in that position. I've watched it happen, but I've never really mm -hmm. been in that position. And so um, it was just, it was really upsetting just to think that I wasn't going to get the opportunity to do that. And I feel so bad because I possibly have hope for another year, but I feel like on a good note, our school year did end on a pep rally and the seniors yeah. won the spirit sick and that was a huge thing and that was something that you left for my class to start on and to mm -hmm. grow and potentially be a class like y'all's because I've thought mentally to myself now that I'm going to have to take next year as big and bad as I can because it could just go up in an instant. So I'm really, yeah. I'm really happy and torn for y'all at the same time. Sure. Right. Yeah, so absolutely. I know you've talked to me a little bit about what you were doing after, or what you were doing after high school. You're going to Western, right? Yes. Okay. What are you planning on studying? And I know Caleb's going to be your, your roomie. So how's that going to yeah. go? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm planning to attend Western and I'm not really 100% sure on what I want to study quite yet, mm -hmm. but I'm really looking into education, possibly elementary education, because I'm, I really love to be around kids and involved with kids and stuff. That's cool. um, and yeah, I am. I'm staying in an apartment with my cousin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's going to be interesting. My sister's also staying in that apartment as well. Right. And so, so it'll be fun, but it'll be interesting at the same time. <laughs> I'm excited, but yeah, we'll see. Well, I'm excited to see where you go with that because that should be really Thanks. interesting. So yeah. I'm just going to talk about like our memories together because you were my middle school cross country captain. And I mean, yeah. I remember running together with you and it seemed like so long ago, but now since I'm talking to you, it just feels like yesterday that we were wearing yeah. those uniforms and stuff. So I just wanted to really say that was, you really put me in the right path. And I really just wanted to say thank Aww. you for that. Because Absolutely, yeah. That, that was for such sure. a fun year. We had Chandler and we had you and I think Caleb came out for a little bit too. Yep, yep, yeah. he did. So we had a pretty good year there as well. Yeah, it was great. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to ask you some more of like the, I guess, the personal questions. So you've played soccer, I don't know, since you were young, probably. Uh -huh. So I just want to ask you, what is your favorite like sports moment? Like, did you hit like this really amazing goal or did you have like a, just a big, great day on a game? Um, yeah, so... A lot. I've, I've had this question a lot. Mm -hmm. And my first thing to go to was that last game that we had for my like senior year, you right. know, the, the one that we ended on. But I think even farther back would probably be whenever we beat Smoky Mountain in yeah. all those PK kicks. I mean, we played for, I think, like 100 minutes because mm -hmm. we had gone into overtime so much. And then um, we went into PKs. But 
um, we kicked five, they kicked five, we kicked five. They, mm-hmm. So it ended up being like 13 rounds for each team. Right. And so that was, and then we won and that was absolutely incredible. It's just, especially it being our rival and everything. It was just, it was an awesome game and definitely something I'll never forget. That's good. Is there any like moments that you are going to miss about soccer? Like talk to me about like the little things and the big things you're going to miss with this season. Yeah. So uh, definitely, (laughs) definitely going to miss a lot about it. Um, I think the biggest thing for me for soccer is that just every time that I get on the field for practice or even just games, Mm -hmm. um, creating relationships or, and, and friendships, I mean, with all the players on my team and just getting to know them and, um, just really working well together on the field and definitely, um, just the fact that whenever I'm playing soccer, that's all I think about. So like if something else is going on in my life or whatever, I mean, all I'm going to think about is soccer while I'm playing and it's just a great Mm -hmm. kind of escape. Good. Um, Who, I know I've met your mom and dad both. I'm really close with your dad. I see him all the time. So who do you think you got your athleticism from, your dad or your mom? (laughs) All right, this question could get me in trouble. Okay. (laughs) Um, No, I think, uh, well, both my parents, they both work out and exercise Mm -hmm. and do all that stuff. But I definitely think I got more from my dad just because um, he's obviously – weightlifter and all that stuff and yeah. he played soccer also whenever he was younger mm-hmm. as well and so he's kind of really what got us into it mm-hmm. and he just he coached me even for a while whenever I was younger and yeah. so it just really pushed me and um, I definitely think that I got it from both but probably more so from my dad well that's <laughs> good I figured it was more of your dad but I just yeah. wasn't too yeah. sure yet so thank you for joining me today Chloe is there any last thoughts Um, I would just say for athletes just to really um, enjoy the time that they have and to not take it for granted because you don't know when it's going to be taken too soon. Thank you so much for that great advice. That really hits me hard. So I will see you whenever quarantine ends. All right. Sounds great. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Thanks for joining us today, Panther fans. That was Chloe Lane, my yearbook advisor and old middle school cross country captain. I just wanted to say a big thank you to her for setting me on the right path I am on today. And don't forget to subscribe to FPSN on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.